have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. If you don't know the game plan by now, it's too late. Mid-American Conference action coming up. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. largest city in the state is the site for this college football showdown. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Taken at the five. And he's hammered down. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. Goodman gets eight yards on the play. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this added a timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Gets around three on that option keeper. Man, it's difficult to run on this defense when they put this kid up in the box. Got a man. Watch out here. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Brought down at the 26. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 26. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. There's a strike complete. Good tackle there in space. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. Reese Davis in the studio. 
The Sun Devils come into today's game ranked 15th in the nation. And for Arizona State, they've now won three in a row. The Sun Devils win 31-24. In other games, the Buckeyes come into today's game ranked fourth and hoping a win can move them up in the rankings. And for Ohio State, they've won six in a row. And for Hall, he looked as if he was in his own league better than 250 yards rushing. Best way to describe this kid, the truth. The Buckeyes get the win, 27-20. Good stuff, Reese, thank you. Eastern Michigan lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he has it on the corner. They'll bring him down at the 34. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Nice run up the middle. It's second down, five to go. Ball on their own 39. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Complete. He's got room. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. What a throw. A big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. What about a big play by the defense? He can't hold it. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. From the 49-yard line, second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. tackle at the 42 yard line but wow, that is a big hit on the quarterback that's one of those as an offensive lineman film study starts to come around you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on monday on that one fourth and long here after the sack and watch out they're going to bring the heat right here This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Goodman gains around six yards on the run. Eastern Michigan is up a score. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. First and ten. Ball on the 37. He's got an opening. Makes it to the 24. They come out in a five wide set. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. From the 24 yard line, second down. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 12. And 
they make the stop at the 10-yard line. From the 10-yard line, second down. Here's the halfback on the screen. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Kansas and Kansas State in the Sunflower Showdown. Check out these two teams keeping it close. Kansas leads it 7-0. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Fellows has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Baker from the six. Tackle at the 31. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He's to the 40. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. Swings it out there incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the thirty-two. Catches it, and that's all. Robinson picks him up six yards with a catch. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Eastern Michigan could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goal posts. 10-7, Eastern Michigan. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Fires out to his wideout. And down he goes at about the 31. They're about four yards away here on second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Pressure coming. Gordon picks him up two yards with that catch. That'll make it third and one. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, right 52. Right 52. Go! He's hit and taken down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. He might have a chance. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 37.
the 37 yard line. First down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. It's first and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Caught, and he's hit immediately. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Looking for his man, incomplete. We're at play number nine of this current drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick pass, intercepted. Big opening. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Caught out in the open. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. Brought down at the 44. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. Black five, kill, kill. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. Inside the 30. He's taken down at the 8. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He makes it to the six-yard line. rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he 
body's hit before it can go anywhere. We're through one quarter. The Eagles with a 10-point lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Now he pitches it. Touchdown, Eagles. on the extra point. Eastern Michigan gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He gets sacked on the play. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike 52. Red two. Orange three. And they got him for a loss. That was a loss of four yards. That'll bring up third and long. screen tackle made at about the 15 yard line fourth down upcoming as they go three and out thomas is the punter and he makes it out to about the 41 yard line You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They'll bring him down right around the 30. Number 59 on the tackle at the 30-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Yeah. Mike is 59. <laughs> He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Robinson was the intended receiver on that way. That makes it fourth and eight. It's up, looks long enough. And he got it! Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at the 33 yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Hit, red, hit. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's level at the 46. the 49. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 49. Three down, three down. Black five, black five. <laughs> Makes it to the 41. the 40. That's a that brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Passes it and it's picked out of the sky. He's at the 20, inside the 10, and he will score. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And for Luke, it's been a night of struggle. Well, it may seem obvious right now, but if you don't take care of the football, you're just not going to win many football games. And the comforts of home haven't made much of a difference so far. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. It's tough on the losing sideline in a game like this. Your offense and your defense are both misfiring, and the other team is taking advantage of it. Coach and oftentimes find out what their players are made out of in games like this. That'll make it 77. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That makes it third and seven. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick strike, and he drops it. So that'll make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Thomas is waiting for the snap. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. 
These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Just throws this one away. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Eastern Michigan with a commanding lead. at the 35-yard line. This secondary better tighten it up if they're going to slow down this drive. First down. Larry, Larry, Larry. 94 is the mic. 94 is the mic. Let's go, T. It's going to be a long day. Switch, switch, switch. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Grant makes the tackle at the 29-yard line. That'll make it second and four. the pass. 94 is the mic. 94 is the mic. Halfback's got it on a quick throw. He scores. What a play. That was some kind of catch and run by the halfback. Uh, that was a mismatch that the offense took advantage of. He completely burned the defender for the score. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown? Well, they've got to regroup. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Jayhawks and Wildcats in the Sunflower Showdown. This is a game we've been watching closely today. We've got a tight one going on here. The Wildcats have the lead 10-7. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Baker has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Here comes the pressure. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, first down. out of bounds at about the 45 and a quick throw nice pickup as they connect on the pass play but they look to be in sync right now they're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game Red two. quick strike to the receiver and they make the stop at the 49 First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Three down, three down. No, 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 check that, check that. We're going to like two, right here. Right two, go! Ah! Zips it to the back. He's pushed out of bounds around the 40-yard line. That brings up second and one. First down, and he's taken down at the 26. Personal foul, face man, defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. From the 13-yard line, first down. complete and taken down immediately. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Get the cheese and Mike. Watch Mike, watch Mike. Red two. Goes to his back and it's in and out of his hands. They're about four yards away here on third down. Watch what you do. Watch what you do. Hit back. Back. 
Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. It's up, and it's good. <laughs> Fellows, looks ready to kick this one off. Baker from the six. And for Luke, it has not been an easy ride in this one. Sometimes when you're a quarterback and you have these kind of performances, there's a tendency to want to press and just try to get it all back in one play. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Eastern Michigan comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want another one. First down. Under pressure. Oh, it almost picked off. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. He passes it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. downtown on the reception look out nobody there and he's all the way in for the touchdown and they had a tough time defending that one well Brad one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver and doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open Splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Kansas will try to rock and chalk out behind the Wildcats in a Sunflower Showdown. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Kansas, they're trying to put a stranglehold on this game. The Jayhawks are on top, 14-10. Thanks, Reese. Well, this one's not even close. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. He's out of bounds around the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down around the 32-yard line. He 40, and he shoved out of bounds around the 45-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 45. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out.
from the 32-yard line. It's first down. I got you. Oh. Caught with room to work. And he's tackled at the 29. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Ain't no such thing as a loss. We take a win, Tom. No, no, no. Check that. Check that. Black five. Check that. Check that. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Akron will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. And here's another third down. He's under pressure. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at the 25. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 35. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Eastern Michigan looking to add to this big lead here. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. The Eagles are going to call their second timeout. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. up in the pocket and down he goes well we talked all week with these coaches and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends they thought that they might be able to hold up against him maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside but right now whatever they thought they might be able to do better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick Goes quickly and it's almost intercepted. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Pitts to punt. <laughs> he makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. He heaves it deep. Missed him. Well, we played a half of football. Eastern Michigan's running away with it. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I completely understand an offensive coordinator's philosophy. If a play works, just keep going back to it over and over and over again. But you know, something seemed a little unusual about, about the play calling in the first half here. I, I, I know what you're saying. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. But if it's money, then put it in the bank and continue to do it over and over. He kept dialing up the money plays, man. I don't need to run anything else. If my money plays are going to work consistently until you stop it, you better you better get used to seeing green and cha-ching, 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 because it's money in the bank. Are, are you trying to say behold the power of cheese? 
We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, you guys just sit there in your easy chairs. Kirk and I have work to do here in this third quarter. Hopefully it's going to get better. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Eagles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. He steps out right around the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line, second down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. Here we go. Mike 52, Mike 52. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Five-yard line. That makes it second and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Flips it middle to the running back, and he is drilled at the 28. First and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. This one falls incomplete. Tenth play of the drive. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds around the 27 yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. The offense going to try to open this field up. Coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. And down he goes at the 14-yard line. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Throws falling back and got his man. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Reset, 
So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Looks to a receiver, touchdown! Did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he hits the PAT. It was a 13-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Fellows is lined up to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Eastern Michigan up by a bunch. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. He's level at the 23. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. That makes it fourth and eight. He makes it to the 42-yard line. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Hits him hard at the 47. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's at the 40, and he's tackled right away. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. So we're looking at another third down here. The Zips saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Fires 
quick to an open man. He dropped it. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at the 12-yard line. From the 12-yard line, first down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Slings it. And I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. This is the 11th play of this drive. Touchdown, Zips. And for Luke, he's been responsible for three scoring passes. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. What's more amazing than anything else is that these guys are still losing. He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Jayhawks and Wildcats in the Sunflower Showdown. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Kansas State, they try to become bowl eligible. And for Woods, he's to the end zone for a touchdown. The Wildcats are on top, 31-24, at the start of the fourth quarter. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Vincent from the six. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Akron's got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Get in the right room. Get in the right room. 94 is the mic. 94 is the mic. Yeah. Get up. Up, up, up. Yeah. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, second down, and they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Quick throw, picked off. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down at about the 31. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. In the shotgun and five wide out. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. A little 
toss across the middle. And he tackles him hard at the 26 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 26 yard line, it's second down. The Eagles had one of their key guys go down earlier. It looks like he might be able to return. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Slings it with halfback again. He's taken down at the two-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. And here we go. go. Touchdown, Akron. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. play 40 yard drive and they'll come away with six points after failing on the two point conversion Big fellows get set to kick this one away and he'll return this one from the seven he gets out to about the 28 yard line The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Knocked out of bounds at the 35. That's a game of second and That'll bring up second and two. That's three down and one to go. Eastern Michigan's up by 18. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 30. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Short over the middle. He's tackled at the 35 yard line. That's a D. Concepcion takes it at the 33, and he's taken down at the 40-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? throw out to the receiver incomplete from their own 40-yard line second down Roger, Roger. 
Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Tackle at the 44. They come out on an empty backfield. Got a man. He can't complete the play. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Here they come. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And down he goes around the 43 yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made around the 39 yard line. Quick strike and he drops it. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. So they're going to go for it here. Under pressure, quick throw. And he brings it down. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. Make it three passes for touchdowns. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. And he converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Jayhawks and Wildcats in the Sunflower Showdown. This one's been entertaining us all day long. One word to describe this rivalry, nasty. Holland's locked in at quarterback. He is razor sharp. Everything is on time and right on the money, and he's already good for four touchdown passes. The Wildcats have the lead, 38-31, midway through the fourth quarter. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Baker has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. You know, the last time this offense was out on the field, they went for it on fourth down, Brad, and they came up short. I think as an offensive coordinator and a play caller, you've got to be very selective on when to go for it and when maybe they just punt the ball and change the field position. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 39. Complete and taken down immediately. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. They knock 
knocked it loose. And he's taken down right around the 48 yard line. I think the play call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up a fourth down, but give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball. And he hits him hard at the 46. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46 yard line. Caught out in the open. Out of bounds around the 34 yard line. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. This one is batted away. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Fires out to his receiver, and they make the stop around the 25-yard line. That'll make it 31. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down at the 13-yard line. And for Luke, he's just established a new school record for passing yards in a game. Every single pass he has thrown has been spot on today. The guys catching the ball have been pretty sharp, too. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13. Touchdown, Zips. This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Kansas and Kansas State in the Sunflower Showdown. And for Kansas, they've now dropped three in a row. And for Holland, he puts up terrific numbers with four touchdown passes. The Wildcats grab a double-digit win. All right, Reese, back to our game. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Slings it. And he's tackled at about the 17-yard line. Number 59 makes the tackle at the 17-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That'll bring up second and two.
runs it and tackled in the backfield. They'll line it up again on third down. Just over two minutes in the game. Receiver and it falls incomplete. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. It's up, and they tack on three points. Looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's got the corner at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Yeah, this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seen from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in. Trying to... Defense coming, and the ball comes out. They'll bring him down at the 25. And he just gets rid of it. It's third down and a long way to go. Ball on their own 25. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Going over the middle, intercepted. He's at the 40. He's taken down right around the 34. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. First and 10. Ball on the 34. Just over a minute left. He makes his way out to about the 25. That makes it second and two. the 16-yard line. First down. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. The 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Eastern Michigan, 58, Akron, 37. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.